okay now the next nutrient uh, is your vita vitamins okay now what are vitamins so vitamins are a group of heterogeneous compound what is heterogeneous it is the exact opposite of homogeneous homogeneous means any uh, substance that is made up of only one single type of compound so say het homogeneous kehte heterogeneous mein that compound is made up of many small 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 compounds so that is heterogeneous so vitamins are actually a combination of many more compounds together so that is a vitamin okay so vitamin are group of heterogeneous compounds and there are mainly six type of vitamins that you require that is a b c d e and k okay now these are type of vitamins that your body requires again to mention in every of them there is a sub type jaise ki b it has got b1 b2 b3 b4 up till b12 so there are sub types also but for now let us understand there are six basic type of vitamins and out of this six basic types vitamin a d e and k are fat soluble which means they get dissolved they can dissolve only in fats so unless and until you eat fats your vitamins are of no use so it is very important to eat fats okay then this vitamin b and c are water soluble they can dissolve even in water and this b and c are very important for your immunity okay so a kind of homework for you just go through google and see from where do we get all these vitamins a d e and k kahan se aate v and c kahan se aate so that is what you will do as an homework okay so these are vitamins again vitamins are very important part of your body they help in maintenance of your body whatever processes are going on in your body they help them run very smoothly and hence vitamins are important so let us continue vitamins ke baad we'll come to water again water the most again we can say one of the most important substance or uh, nutrient your body is made up of 60 to 70% of water each cell contains approximately 70% of water and your blood contains approximately 90% of water so it is very much clear that a huge portion of your body is water now besides maintaining your body and keeping and keep and ma making the body run very smoothly water is also important to maintain the body temperature it also maintains the body temperature so hence it is very important to drink water as per your age okay drink at least 2 liters of water a day then fibers now what are fibers so fibers are substances that you can find uh, in many fruits for example your banana if you peel a banana the thread like structure that is there on the banana peel is a fiber okay fibers we get it from leafy vegetable fruit and cereals remember fruits are a good source of fibers do eat fibers why because fibers they cannot themselves be digested you cannot digest fibers see fibers we cannot digest the fibers however they help in digestion of other substances okay so they'll help you digest all the other proteins and fats and also they'll help you in ejection of the undigested substances so throwing waste of out of your body is a very important process and that is where fibers play a very important role so this is all fibers okay so this is where we complete the part of nutrition see we started with proteins protein then lipids which means fatty acids obviously uh, then water then vitamins and then fibers okay again i repeat proteins has been finished uh, after proteins we went through lipids and then vitamins water and fiber carbohydrates i'll be speaking in classroom in detail okay so don't worry about it yeah uh, 